let me let me explain to you how I go about with the Grudge series. First, I check if it, if the anime has been done by TV Tokyo, because the those sons of bitches just fucked me over and it pissed me off. So I've been trying to stay clear of their turf. Second, I go to see if it's if the anime's been done before. Like with when Tokyo Ghoul first came out, when Okame got killed first came out, everybody was going towards that. Everybody was trying to abridge that. So I was just like, okay, I can't do this because then I'm just going to seem like I'm popping on the train with them. So yeah. And if there's not that many abridges of it, I checked to see when the latest upload of a bridge was. Um, after that, if... It has been done. I check to see if it's been done very well. <laughs> because if it's just... Um, not to poke at any other people's bridges, but if it's got, like, subtitles at the bottom and watermarks and all that, I feel like that gives me free run to try my... try giving my run at it. But when... It's been done really well, then I won't even touch the series. Like, I know not to touch Dragon Ball, not to touch Yu Gi Oh! And I happen to be a huge fan of Purple Eyes, what the fuck? So, I super love what he did with One Piece and Code Geass, so I'm probably not gonna touch on those two, because I think he just hit them so well. <laughs> and with Future Diaries, there's actually. A channel that made an awesome Future Diaries bridge series that I really liked, and I don't, I don't know if they're still updating because I haven't seen, I haven't checked in in a while to see if they made a new video yet. But I'll probably put um, just to give a shout out to them, probably put a link down in the description in case you guys want to check it out. But if I do Future Diaries, it's probably just going to be honestly a one shot. Unless I change my mind in the future. So, yeah, that's a maybe. Would you ever make an Abridged series or one shot of Tokyo Ghoul or Ghost Hunt? Or even Darker Than Black and there's Shiki too. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul, probably gonna have to wait on because it's got a whole bunch of people going for it. I mean, I've been chosen to be in like two Tokyo Ghoul things already. So I know it's being hit on a lot. So I'm going to wait with that one. Ghost Hunt. Um, I haven't seen enough of Ghost Hunt to know enough material to hit it. So maybe Ghost Hunt if I look more into it and find good stuff to hit, to poke fun at, basically. With Darker Than Black, uh, I don't know. Because I've seen episodes of Darker Than Black and it's a good series, but I don't know if I could properly do an abridge of it. With Shiki? I think there is a chance I could do at least a one-shot of it. Because, I mean, I've done it before for an awkward conversation. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a possibility with Shiki. With the others, I don't know. We probably have to just give it time. Which do you prefer better? Manga or anime? Um, in general, I guess it's a, it, um, I guess it, it kind of determines with the series, because with some series, the manga is way awesomer than the anime, and I'm not gonna say any names, because I feel like I'd get in trouble with some people if I did, <laughs> but, um, with Higurashi-wise, I'd say I love the manga better than the anime. What software do you require as well? Do you recommend said software you use? With Higurashi, um, with Higurashi and whichever other abridged series I make, I use Sony Vegas Pro 9. I've been trying to switch to Pro 13, but it's kind of hard for me. <laughs> Because I'm so used to Pro 9. 
and to record, I use both Audacity and Adobe Audition to clean up the sound of it. I sometimes use Photoshop for some moments, like I did for a recent Higurashi where I made Keiichi look to the left and then look back over at Uishi. Yeah, I use Photoshop on that. To get my videos, I actually use this one program called Dom Dom Soft Anime Downloader. And, yeah, uh, that one is very good, but it depends on what series you're going for, because there's MKV files, and then there's AVI files there, and if it's an AVI file, chances are it's going to have subtitles or watermarks, and it's not going to be a great thing to use for your abridges or fan dubs or whatever. So it's kind of hit or miss with Dom Dom Soft. But I would recommend it because it is a good software. And I would also recommend Vegas Pro because it's also good software. <laughs>